Well, Toronto saw its rainiest summer ever recorded. But what actually caused this? Well, we have three factors to consider. First, the record-breaking global air temperatures, along with hot ocean water temps, and specifically in the Gulf of Mexico, high precipitable water and moisture content in the atmosphere, and very little steering flow when it comes to storms in Ontario. Now, I mentioned record-breaking heat. Well, the globe itself recorded the hottest average temperature ever recorded back in July. And this is also in the oceans. Gulf of Mexico sea surface temperatures are astonishingly high when compared to average. And we also track ocean heat content, which is the amount of heat stored in that ocean itself. And, well, this graph tells you everything you need to know. We are staggeringly high when compared to that line in blue, the average line. But what does this all have to do with the amount of rain we've seen? Well, the warmer the air, the more moisture that air mass itself can hold. So when we look at precipitable water and we take into account all the heat in the Gulf, all of that moisture is surging into Ontario and dumping all of the rain onto us. But precipitable water has also broken a record in 2024, beating out all previous years for a global average. And lastly, when we take into account steering flow, these moisture-laden systems move into southern Ontario, and when they don't interact with upper-level dynamics, they begin to move very slowly, start to train, and this leads to catastrophic flooding.